tape here and open this up. So this is going to be our first time looking at this, guys. What the? What the heck? What's up, guys? Sam Man back, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Iron Spider. This is the brand new box packaging that you get. So, I mean, I'm not feeling it. Don't get me wrong. The packaging's cool, right? But <clears throat> you can't see the figure. So, as far as paint apps go, as far as somebody did a swig, a fig swap, dude. I want to see somebody try to do a fig swap on these and see exactly what you like if they would return it if you just put something in there not even put anything in there because it's pretty light but i mean this is this guy right here costs over 30 dollars. i think about 32 and some change if not 33 and some change it would okay so look the packaging's nice it is nice don't get me wrong you got the comic book iron spider there you got the figure there figure in the front the tab on top has spider-man in the top right corner on the back you have uh it shows you get extra hands and there's iron spider and then right there at the bottom so if it had a flap to where you can open it then i would say dude this is legit packaging but it doesn't have it and the price went up i get prices are going up for figures but 31 dollars is kind of drastic i like that little logo right there on the top too so let's open this guy up let's see if it's worth the money and let's see if it's you know what the paint apps are going to look like on this guy Is it like a box within a box? Whoa, what the heck kind of packaging is this? Look at this. That's that's pretty much all that's in there. Put the box aside. So the figure comes like this. And you get this in here. So let's open this tape up. So this is... I'm just going to rip this open. Actually, you don't need to. So here is the attachments. And it looks like they do have articulation. Looks like there is one, two, no. Is that two? No. Okay, one here. Don't think, okay, one here. So it looks like there's just two points of articulations in the uh, attachments or the or the tentacles. I don't know, tentacles. You got, you, so you get three of them. <clears throat> and then right here in this little bag, this is totally different just like way way different so in here i can't even open this up man this is like a hassle okay so here we have the web shooter hands i like the coloring on that so we got that and then in this package here is where the figure is it's like it's like a surprise you know what i mean it's like a christmas gift whoa okay here, okay, he's got a metallic paint. I do like the paint apps on him. Here we go. We'll get a close-up on him. Look at the paint apps. You got the spider logo there, which is all sculpted. Closed fists. There's the attachments or the uh, the peg holes there so you can attach the, the, the little spider legs or tentacles, whatever you want to call them. It's not a bad figure. It's not bad, but is it worth $30? I really don't think so. 30, 30 plus. Um, I guess we can go over articulation really quick now that we're here. So... It's got rotation of the head sculpt. Does go up and down pretty far. Arms go in and out, forward and back. Double jointed at the. Whoa. Dude, why is this freaking bicep so stiff? Double jointed at the bicep. Hand rotates. Also has a hinge. This one is not bending. Dude, don't break on me. Dude, it's like it's gl like the glue is like. Well. Okay, the arm goes in and out, forward and back, upper, or he's got waist rotation, ab crunch, legs go in and out, upper leg swivel, double jointed knees, lower leg swivel, ankle pivot, foot goes up and down. I haven't reviewed a Marvel Legends in a long time. I kind of want to say like, oh, where's the toe articulation? But that's a McFarlane. I cannot get this arm to bend. Dude, this is like a defect right here. It's like, it looks like it's glued. <laughs> this thing is glued i can't i cannot even get his left arm to bend see that's see, i mean that's a problem you wouldn't even have known anyways if his arm couldn't bend or not but holy crap okay let's get back to the figure the figure looks good okay i like i'm really digging the paint apps on him and then everything that's like gold really makes this figure pop i love the eyes the head sculpt looks really cool 
I like this a lot. I like the paint apps on it. So let's go ahead and attach the little spider tentacles here. All right, guys. So I have the attachments on. I put the web shooter hand on them here. Let me get this rotated. So, I mean, other than the left arm, geez, that's really bugging me that it's not doing that. Um, the tentacles or the spider arms, whatever you want to call them, they do stay on. That would be cool though if the back piece here did rotate so you can kind of maneuver them. But, I mean, you can get him, I guess, into some, put this right under the crotch area into some cool poses with this. It would have been cool if he came with like some kind of like a flight stand so you can um, pose him like, you know, or, or maybe somehow get these to, I don't know if this will support him, his weight. I don't know. You guys can probably mess with this to see if it, it'll allow that. I mean, it does look good with the tentacles on, but I honestly wish that they gave it more of a metallic paint finish to this. And I think it would have made this figure look a lot better. And there you go, guys. There is my quick little review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Iron Spider. This is the new packaging style that we're going to start getting Marvel Legends now. Overall, I'm not really happy with the figure. Um, I like the paint apps on it. Don't get me wrong. I Some things I wished. I wished, uh, again, that the packaging wasn't closed. I wish they would have included a flap. I just think it's better for collectors. That's one. Two, I don't like the price. $33 to $35 for this Marvel Legends, which doesn't really come with much other than the interchangeable hands. I don't care what you say about inflation. McFarlane is still managing to give us figures for $20 to $25, and some of them even come with comic books. This is $10 more, and you're not really getting anything with it other than you know the hands and this completely enclosed packaging. I like the figure for the most part, Everything I like about it is probably from the torso up, and I, that's what I like the most. I don't really, I don't, something about the legs I don't really like about it a whole lot. I don't know if it's the lower part, not too sure. Something about the legs kind of throw me off. It is a decent figure, guys. If you do need a Spider-Man, this is your next best, you know, choice. Unless there's some kind of an import that you can get, because I would personally, I would spend the money on an import, because it's going to be a way better figure, and um, it'll be worth your buck. This one here... $35 guys I mean you guys be the judge about it let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is it a pickup is it a pass did you guys pick this up if so what did you guys think about this figure there is other older spider-man classic figures that you can probably find loose for a decent price I think by toy biz if not then just get this one I mean it's still a good figure don't get me wrong it's just the price is a little crazy and plus you don't know what the paint apps are going to look like because of it being an enclosed box so let me know in the comments down below guys what you think is it a pickup is it a pass is hasbro is hasbro winning right now let me know we'll see you soon guys thank you for watching later